Quite a large number of people, maybe at MIT in particular, they have quite a very developed intellect in a particular area, let's say, you know, math or physics or biology, whatever they're working on. And the intellect is very developed and controlled in that area, but that uh, frequently does not correspond to the intellect also being developed in other areas, which uh, on a human level might be even more important. So how does that happen? You said that in the MIT, people have developed their intellects in certain directions. So that is why uh, at the beginning of this discourse, I emphasized that you need to understand the importance of this to your life. You see, it is lack of this spiritual knowledge that created a lopsidedness. And very often people have not been exposed to this knowledge. So that creates this lopsidedness. When it comes to education, education is considered as only education related to the phenomenal world. But there is another aspect that is so important that we are neglecting. When I speak to managers, I bring it to their awareness that you realize that your ability to function as a manager doesn't just depend upon your knowledge, but on the extent to which you can manage your own mind. Even psychology has got the term emotional intelligence. So while doing your MBA, was it not relevant to understand how to manage the mind? That aspect has been neglected. We keep on developing material education, we ignore this. So we have got engineer making education. We have got doctor making education. Finally, money-making education, out of it all you get money, but we don't have human-making education, and that is so important. So it's a question of understanding its importance, and then if we give it a priority in our lives, we will spend time on it, and when we spend time on it, the brilliant people of MIT, it will not take them long to grasp this and then utilize it for achieving fulfillment in their lives.